I'm Fred Minnick, and I'm about to taste the prideful goat in this four-point tasting. The prideful goat? Well, giddy up. So this unfiltered cast drink beast is 15 years old. It is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. There's a lot of 15-year-old uh, uh, straight bourbon whiskeys from Kentucky that have come onto the market and are being bottled by independent bottlers. This is part of the source whiskey market. This one happens to be operated and known by a friend of mine, Chris Hart, who runs a uh, whiskey YouTube channel called Whiskey Neat. Go check him out. He's uh, got a great channel over there. But now that he's entering the, the sphere of having a brand and putting his name behind it, our friendship's on the line. And will I like it? And if I don't like it, will Chris and I still be friends? I don't know. I think he'll be all right. He's got thick skin. But chances are, 15-year-old cast drink bourbon. Can you go wrong there? I don't think you can. Let's find out. So, first of all, that color. Woo-woo! That is just straight up beauty. Look at that beautiness right there. That is a piece of art. Just shimmering along there, just beautiful amberness. I'd say there's a just like a hint of blue there, blue like a blue kind of prism. And I think it might be because you know my window over here, there is um, there's like a blue car, and I think that's getting in there. So that's one of the beautiful things about whiskey. It'll like reflect, and you if you like look into it a certain way, you can you know you can get reflections from uh, from uh, what's around and how it reacts into the whiskey. It's a really beautiful thing. So I'll swirl it around a little bit. Okay. We're talking about we're talking about some molasses, some brown sugar, some uh, vanilla wafers pulled out of the oven. More vanilla. More vanilla. Woo! More vanilla. This is a vanilla bomb right here. Okay, gonna get up on that palette now. That molasses note definitely carries through. Powerful there, that molasses note. Really powerful on the tip of the palate. In the, in the savory zone, the middle of the palate, I'm getting a lot of like uh, um, like cookie dough. You know, so like the, the dough right before you put it in the, uh, the oven, you get that nice savoriness from the cookie dough, and there's some sweetness there. And then you got a little bit of chocolate there. The chocolate bitterness is kind of hitting me on the side of the palate. Then at the back palate, it's a little bit of like a hatch chili. Um, you know, maybe, you know, a little bit of like kind of like New Mexico kind of style of chili as well, a carne atavada. So there's like some very particular like New Mexican chili notes that I get on the back palate. Let's go in for that next tasting and uh, I'll figure out the finish. Now... That second tasting was not as fantastic as the first. Um, the notes kind of dulled a little bit while they were on my palate. The second note, the second tasting comes in, adds a little bit to it. But uh, the finish is, um, it's kind of in that range of medium to long. Uh, I'm still feeling a little bit on my palate, but it's not as powerful as it once was. So I would say overall... This is one that you want to add to your collection if you are someone who's uh, in the game and you like getting uh, getting the older whiskeys. But I think in general, this is going to be one that if you are focused on finish, you might be a little disappointed. If the finish is not important to you, then you will fall in love like the, with this cookie dough note and this spicy kind of uh, New Mexican chili style on the back of the palate. I think with those two notes, this is definitely a must buy if those are in your wheelhouse. But if you are someone who like values finish, I would not recommend it. I think you would be disappointed. But overall, this is one to to drink if you can get uh, if you can get your hands on it. But that's going to do it for uh, me on this episode. If you'd like to learn more about American whiskey, the history and the taste of it, 
be sure to click the subscribe button. I'm also interviewing celebrities like Killer Mike and Ludacris and Mick Fleetwood, and we talk whiskey and their careers. So click subscribe if you want to check that out as well. If you'd like to become a member, click join, where we have all kinds of fun stuff going on inside the member community. But that's going to do it for this tasting. Be sure to be safe out there. No licking handrails, no licking trash cans. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers.